Thank you, Philip. Robin's speech is called Surreal Surrealism Art, and to tell us all about surrealism, here is Robin. Thank you. Welcome, members, guests, to my speech. Beautiful day. Before I start, I'll ask some questions. What is this? Paper. Paper. This paper. What we do with this? Read. Read or write? Well, that's the fundamental function of a paper. Well, what is this? Paper. Okay. <laughs> it is about something which float on the water. Right. One more example. What is this? <laughs> Fly on air. Paper has so many duties. It has so many fundamental activities. Similarly, this is another one which gives a feeling of someone is like a ladder or shelf, something like that. Well, fundamental purpose of paper is to write or read, or make something like similar things, which you can feel like it looks like something, do like something. Well, what is this? Trash. trash. No, it looks like a trash. But it's not trash. It can be something else too. It can be art. Something else. Maybe art. Maybe who knows? <laughs> but this paper doesn't have a, doesn't have any logic any reasonings, any chronology, nothing with that. So I'm going to talk about an art revolution which started without logic, without chronology, without reasonings. I call it Surrealism for dummies. <laughs> Mona Lisa with dummies book. Surrealism started with similar kind of motto, like without logic, without reasonings, it was an offshoot of Dadaism. Dadaism started just after the World War One. That time, Dadaists believed that the rational thinking was the root cause of the World War. Everything in World War happened is devastation, destructions, and negative things. So Dadaists were totally against the art. They were not thinking of what, what if we were making all this kind of beautiful art, architecture, everything, and finally someone is coming and bombed it? What's the reason for this thing? So they were reacting to that kind of rational thinking. Sigmund Freud also established in his philosophy that rational, rationalized thinking is the root cause of all destructions. They believe. So Dadaist artist, Dadaism, they were started with all these kind of negative things. Marshall Dusan, he did the same Ma Ma Mona Lisa painting with painted with a mustache. Graffiti, he was and named it L S O O Q. What does it mean? It means something like that the woman with a beautiful ASS. <laughs> Manry, he created this sculpture called Gift in 1921. It's an iron, but doesn't have the function of the iron. It doesn't look like iron. It looks like iron, but it doesn't have the function. It's away from the logic, away from the reasonings. But this 
kind of fantasy idea, the Dada is thinking, they, were, they have been doing this painting for a long, long time, until one day, Andre Broughton, there was a poet and philosopher, found some potential in creativity to use the imagination to unlimited, beyond the boundaries, beyond anything he can think about. And he started, he established the surrealist idea, it's called surrealism, in 1924. Basically, he was a poet. He invited artist, writer, poet to use their imagination to explore unlimited things they can imagine to do it. Artist like Salvatore Dali, <laughs> René Marguerite, Tange, Juan Miro, Mark, Max Ernest, Giorgio Do Chirico. There are a few surrealist artists. They started painting based on same principle. According to them, if the traditional art were an expression of the social is conscious mind, then the unconscious mind could be captured also. Surrealist type of art create like dreamlike image, fantasy, uh, uh, nightmare. They use the object such a way that it creates something different. It may not be real, but it gives you a feeling of a real things. Some of the artists like Dali, this is the Dali, his painting made in, uh, persistence of the memory. This is another painting of Dali. Look the figures, the animals and the house, everything is fine. Deep horizon. Margaret. He used the figures, the vertical and apple in his face. He made it pie. Call it, this is not a pie. <laughs> well, Mamiro, the greatest designer of Barcelona Olympic in 1992. This is the logo. He painted these figures. Some some creatures like origin of life, like something just came out of the eggs and started building a new life. That's what is it's called Harlequin's Carnival. George Chirico, an Italian artist, painted buildings and architectural form, but without women. It's a nightmare. But now, this is the surrealist idea we have. But we have another interesting thing. What is our surrealist projection of Watergate Postmaster? You want to see? Okay, here you go. <laughs> Philip, Susan, <laughs> look at the correcting hand, Michael Angel, Toastmasters. So this is how we think about, we may project our surrealist concept of Toastmasters. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.